Let's say we're editing right now at the six minute and 15 second mark in the timeline, and we want to get to the two minute mark by entering that time on our own, which is fast and precise. Now to do that, all we need to do is to click the uh, time code box in the timeline viewer. And now we can go ahead and type in that time. Now we don't have to worry about the colons, so that's the good news, but we need to make sure the format can be understood by DaVinci Resolve. To do that, we're gonna start with the one hour, which is the default, and then we're gonna type in the two minute and all the other zeros. Now, if we go ahead and hit enter, we'll see that this will take us to the two minute mark right away. Now let me go ahead and uh, actually zoom out uh, a little bit so that uh, you know we can see the changes uh, much better. I'm gonna go ahead and once again, type in the time that will take us back to the original, uh, the previous uh, point in the timeline. And this will be the six minute, 15 second, and the five frame mark. So you will see it can be done right away. Now, uh, another thing about uh, time code entry is that if, let's say, like in the previous example where we have a lot of zeros, you can just simply use period. By uh, typing period, that will automatically uh, key in the two zeros for you. So in this case, we don't have to enter four uh, zeros. We just need to hit the period twice. That will take care of this for us. Now, next, we're going to look at a couple ways that we can actually speed up the time code entry. One of the ways to speed up time code entry is to do partial entry. And let's say in this example, we want to get to the two minute and 20 frame uh, mark. And to do that, all we need to do is actually just enter 20 because now this 20 will be registered as the frame and we don't have to type in the rest. DaVinci Resolve will automatically just take that. So if we enter, you will see that now it will take us to the two minute and 20 frame mark. And let's say if we want to get to the two minute and 20 seconds and 20 frame mark, all we need to type in is 20, 20. So this will take us right away to the two minute, 20 second and 20 frame mark. So let's say right now we want to go back to where we started originally, which is a six minute, a 15 second and five frame mark. Once again, all we need to do is to type in exactly that and that's it. Now we'll hit enter. You will see that this will take us right away uh, back to where we started. So one of the benefits uh, with a partial entry is that we don't have to type in every single thing in the time code. So it can definitely help us speed up the entry. Another way to speed up time code entry is to do relative entry. And what I mean by that is, let's go ahead and hit the time code box once again. And we're going to enter a plus sign, and then we're going to enter 10. So now what this will do is that it will add 10 frames to the previous time code. And you will see that now it will take the play half forward by 10 frames. And let's enter a plus sign again, and let's enter 10, 0, 0. So now this will do is it will add 10 seconds to the previous time code. So you will see that this will now take us forward by 10 seconds. And we can jump forward and we can also jump backward. Now to jump backward, uh, we just need to hit, uh, we just need to enter the minus sign instead of the plus sign. So let's go ahead and enter a minus sign. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter four minutes. Uh, so uh, you will see that this will right now take us back to two minute, 25 uh, seconds and 15 frame mark. Now let's uh, also go ahead and hit the minus uh, sign again. And then we're gonna uh, key in here uh, 25 uh, seconds and 15 frame. And this will take us right back to the previous two minute mark. So relative entry is fantastic way to speed up your uh, time code entry. And if you're good at math, I will say, hey, why not? This is actually one of the best way to enter time code. All right, so to wrap up, I just wanna quickly mention one more thing. Now, before we do time code entry, let's say we have a clip selected like you see right here, and we go ahead and do a relative entry. So we will type in a plus sign, and then we'll type in, let's say a full one minute. Now, what you will notice in this case is that instead of the playhead moving forward by one minute, uh, actually the clip itself is going to move forward by one minute. So we're actually trimming the clip. And this can cause unwarranted result unless this is what you're looking for. Otherwise, we just need to make sure that uh, no clips are selected. We deselect all the clips and before we uh, do uh, any relative entry. All right, guys, I hope this helps and uh, I will see you in the next video.